Hello everyone and welcome to the All-Star SOTL, the first one that I've been able to do in a while and of course now I'm joined in the Curse House live in Las Vegas. Well, not really live because you're watching this pre-recorded, but we're taping it live in some way. Either way, the All-Stars are here. These are your North American heroes. God help us all. Uh, they're they're going to they're gonna save us somehow from all the, the crazy stuff going on. So hey, hey guys, how's it going? Yeah, how pretty how good. long have you been here for now? Three days. Two days. Two, three days? Two, three days? Two okay. Days. Couple months. Yeah. Well, I should, I, should <laughs> say, I should say thank you to GameSpot for helping to produce this. Very cool of them. Uh, so I guess I'll go ahead and introduce everyone because it's a tradition, even though by now all, all you guys watching should know. Uh, but first off, we got Dyrus. How, how you doing, Dyrus? How's the uh, Nevada air treating your skin? If I stay here for two weeks, I'm probably going to die. Okay. I mean, that, yeah, that sounds about right. I, in fact, I know, I know because this is just a show about moisturizers, I'm going to also ask double if you've... Everybody on Reddit has been talking about your moisturizer situation. What so. the hell? I was just asking like simple question, and then well, you I were think tweeting Scar about it too. Scar ended up helping me out. Yeah. With some of his okay. I gave some moisturizer. Oh, yeah. I see. All right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Uh, next up, we got Saint Vicious. Saint, how's it like having all these guys camping out at your home? I don't really care. I'm used to it. Yeah. They're like whatever. There's just so many people now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scar, what's it like to be away from Dignitas? Uh, I mean, it's it's good and bad. Like I like these guys. I like Dig, but the house actually here is really nice. Yeah. Like it's it's bigger than our house, and they have a really nice setup. Do you miss uh, Cutie Pie and his hair? <laughs> no, <laughs> I miss Cutie Pie, but not not his hair. Oh my god, he gets everywhere. And finally, how are you doing, Special? How, what's it like working with Double Lift? We'll get more into that later, but give me a preview. It's been all right. I mean, <laughs> oh, my only complaint is. Uh, if there's buying, then double it's gonna get hit by it. Okay, so yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> Basically, yeah. yeah. He face checks I'm to initiate the fight. Yeah. Yeah. I think we won more fights by double it's initiating than when he's not initiating. Okay, yeah. I always initiate, and we always win, dude. By him. That means it's good. Instantly dying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, like, at least I made it out there some days or something. <laughs> All right, well, well, we'll get more into that in a second, but uh, so I, I want to sort of, I split everything up into like, practice and then we're going to talk about the all-star tournament maybe get into a little bit of meta talk and then there's some questions from folks that i've got uh, from twitter and that should be the whole show so let's go ahead and start into it so when do you guys leave for uh, for shanghai we should say it's thursday you guys have been here for a couple days uh what day do you guys leave sunday sunday okay 19th thank god someone knows uh all right so what's what's been the daily schedule for you guys since you got here okay fat and then Go work out and fap again. All right. And then we eat breakfast, <laughs> and then we'll talk about the game, and then we'll go scrim. Okay. So cool. decent. How many hours of scrimming? Uh, probably like six a day right yeah. now. Like it's hard to find like legitimately. We could scrim more, but it's hard to find legitimately good scrim partners uh, because all the teams are off on break, and then yeah. And you guys have the, the top four out. teams all can't play because they have us in it. So it's like, oh, I mean, we've been screaming curse, and they've been using uh, dominate instead of me. So I mean, I guess it's like the closest thing you're gonna get yeah. for that, and then some GG games. So here, CLG Black reforming to fight you guys. Is that is that happening yet, or is that later today? Uh, yeah, we're playing them later today. Yeah. So are you you looking forward to that? Anyone? Double lift, CLG Black, your 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 nah, I'm much shitters. shitters. Okay, yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. All right, so I know you guys are working out in the morning. I don't know if all you guys work out normally, but is that uh, an interesting experience for any of you guys? Are you guys liking it? Is it working out? No pun intended. A anyone? Any thoughts on the working out? It Alex, that was the worst joke ever. Like special. It's great. It's like yeah. it's really not that hard. It's yeah. Twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Yes. Yeah. Saying, are you like the drill sergeant for these guys in the gym? I guess so. That's what you want to call it. I mean, what? what? Not like yelling. I'm like, let that weight harder. Go over there. Yeah. Lift harder even more. Saying <laughs> yeah. and Liquid are really strong. Yeah. They're like really strong. Yeah, I saw you tweet about that, Double. Bad boys right there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, I saw you tweet about feeling tiny next to Liquid and Saint. I mean, I work out with Chester for the last like few months, and yeah, like. Man, Chester sucks. I mean, I'm sure he used, he used to be strong. He's, he's still like pretty strong, but like yeah. Zane and Liquid are really strong. D Dyrus, what's your workout looking like? Uh, I go on the treadmill for 30 minutes and then we leave. Okay, <laughs> so that's about right. Uh, all 
right. So then, what's the research like here? So, so you guys obviously doing Scrum, but there's I heard rumors of workshops and research. So, what does that look like? You guys just look at games and that kind of thing. It really feels like we're back in school. Yeah. And like we all sit down, literally on these chairs, and we be uh, we have whiteboard, and like we have a uh, uh, Mr. Liquid. He would go through the lesson plan, and then and then when we're done, we have some recess. And, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If we're nice, then get fed and be around. Right? Nice. Yeah. Little stars on a chart or whatever. Yeah, if you, yeah. If so you we put our names on the board, and then uh, if we say something correct, he puts the star next to our name, and then yeah. and then we get some like candy if we nice. have the most points. Yeah, I like that. The, so is, is this basically like a summer camp? I mean, that's what it sounds like. Like everybody came out here for a week of fun in Las Vegas. Uh, like yeah, it's like band camp. Band much. camp. Yeah. Okay. Did you go to band camp much when you were no, young? No, no. no. All right. Yeah. I went to music camp. What did you play? Nerd? Dude. Wait, what did you play? I played the viola. Really? really? Oh, yeah. my God. That's real. Like, so all, yeah. all Chinese, all so Chinese people know how to play piano, viola, and violin. Or, play, like one of, the, one of each. I played piano. Yeah. Like, yeah. And drums, actually. That was white. Drums. For that. Nice. <laughs> yeah, air guitar. Because you're a recorder. <laughs> so, I mean, hey, yeah, it sounds like you guys could start a band and then Double F could be the singer. That's what we're doing in All Stars. We're not even going to play the game. We're just okay. <laughs> yeah, we're yeah. in a mariachi band. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the mariachi band. Mariachi, yeah, like uh, speak, while we're off topic, Double Lift, uh, what's it like being the Man of Steel? Yeah, That's so up. stupid. That video was like, I was cringing so hard the whole time. Everyone loves it. It's yeah, I thought it was so stupid and lame. Your fans it are going to so be so bad. disappointed when they hear I don't want to be represented like... As Superman? No, the man by the, you know, the guy made two videos. Oh, it's yeah, such strange man. editing. It's like, the Yo, guy it's made two front videos. Page, yeah, yeah, yeah. He is, he's like the biggest CLG fanboy, and I like it's cool. Like, it's cool that, but. Can you take down the video, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, poor guy. I'm just like, kidding, it's good. It's good. Yeah, there we go. Thank I'm you. I'm sorry for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I know your heart and your dreams have been crushed yeah. Yeah. by this, this dumpster man. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> what a rude person. So you guys have a very limited time frame to get all this practice in for like this giant tournament. So how how are you guys like approaching that? How can you like maximize it with the limited amount of time that you have? It, it's hard. Um, we actually kind of have like seven people on the team sort of thing. We have a Liquid as a coach and us five. And I saw Fangs over here. Um, he's like an analyst and right. he is the one that looks over the replays the most. And he would bring up the important, pe uh, important parts. And then he showed it to us, and then we would talk about it, and that way we don't have to spend time to watch replays. Normally, like on TSM, we like Reggie and I would be watching replays, and we would just run the feedback through the team. And that's just how it works. But here we have another person doing that, and that's it's really really helpful. Okay, so you guys, you you literally have like a dedicated analyst then. For yeah, this. It's, it's cool. It's something that a lot of uh, Asian teams, I guess even Curse, normally do so, but a lot of any teams don't do that yet and it's something that we might see more in the future and I think it's definitely helpful. Is that something that you might you guys might take back to Reggie and say like hey maybe we, we should consider this? It's like cheating. I feel yeah, like I'm is. cheating. Well, how come? No wonder why like, they're so Because you don't have to do all the work or whatever? After your team discussions are about scatting your opponents and like what you're gonna do and stuff like that, like what they play and like yeah, basically it just takes out like half your work when it comes to like team discussion. No yeah. wonder why they're so good. Yeah. You think that I'm just telling them what to do in yeah. game? I don't want. I want to cheat. Cheat. Yeah. Well, maybe. Maybe in the future. Uh, so, what's it like playing together? I mean, obviously, you guys. Some of you guys have been on teams previously in the past together. But what's it like leaving your team, coming here to all work together? I actually think it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, it's super fun. It's. It, yeah. it was more like it's a lot more enjoyable than I first like thought it'd be. Like I thought it'd be cool and fun and all, but like it's actually like really fun. It's yeah. that right now we're just working on communication because we're we're off on a lot of different things right now. And double if gets hit with every skill shot. <laughs> <Fuck> <laughs> Literally, I play so reckless. Like normally, oh. I play like you know everyone like texts me. I play super far in the back, like super safe. But now I'm on this all star team and I get so hypey and excited. I'm just like, fuck yeah! And I like e flash forward and die. I'm like oh, man, that, that, that was happen bad. That happens a lot, by the way. And then if yeah. we make a call, he'll be like farming somewhere. No, oh, fuck you guys. I, I already. <laughs> I already was there, and then you guys made not, the not, <laughs> not that blue buff came. Oh my god. Oh well, yeah, that blue buff. So we gave him blue buff at level one. He's farming middle, harassing mid lanes, the helping saint. 
Yeah. Oh my god. I like <laughs> we're not, we're not, we're not getting the specifics of that. But I know what I mean. At least well, one thing I say, we, we usually we have really good team fighting. We always win team fights. And our early games are like, I feel like really strong. So, like we've done a couple scrims. We lost two. One was because we just like said, screw it. Because it was like our first game. We base raised. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so 15 bad. minutes of the game. Like, let's base race. <laughs> <laughs> and then another one was just like double up going like maximum level retardation. Yeah, that was pretty, that was pretty bad. <laughs> but other than that, we won like all of our scrims pretty decisively. So it's been pretty good. Uh, so I also want to focus in on double lift and special as this bot lane duo because uh, more than any of you guys, uh, you know, they you two have to work together the most and have the most synergy. Uh, so what's that? How's that working out? I mean, obviously we've made the jokes about double getting hit by bindings, but in lane, how does it feel? It's pretty good. Special is good. He has what to do in lane. He has a lot of presence, and yeah, I mean, like, I obviously bottom lane is all just about communication and synergy, so. Whenever we're going for Hass, I try to like coordinate like, oh, next CS, or like, what do you want? Like, we just talk about the lane and stuff like that while we're playing. So, I think it's pretty good, honestly. Like, my play style and Expression's play style is mesh as well. Yeah. You agree, Special? Yeah, we've been doing fine. I'm, every time we play, it's just like, oh, he just missed another CS, and then, like, normally, nobody says anything, but was like, fuck. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's like, <laughs> I don't miss CS. And then I come to this gaming house, and I miss, like, 30, and I'm like, fuck my life. Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm really good. Yeah, it sounds like things are gonna go great at this. You know, <laughs> like I'm excited. Double this performance, especially. My um, CS has dropped too. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mine yeah. went up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Not what we want. It out. <laughs> so uh, who's leading the team right now? That's what everybody wants to know. Who's making the calls? It's Saint. Saint. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So is that that's pretty much? It just, did that just happen naturally, or was there like a decision made? Well, like, we did the first scrim, and then, I don't know, I just kind of, like, did what I usually do on Curse. But the difference is, it's, like, feels like everybody knows what to do on their own. So it's more of just, like, guiding, and then you make, like, the ultimate call, too. Okay. Like, you're like, hey, let's go kill Baron. I'm like, yeah. Right, let's go kill Baron. Yeah. So it's more like that. It's more like a guiding thing. So, so I'm, and just because I'm going to be a dick here. Uh, these guys are missing CS. How's the smiting going with Baron Saint? Yeah, dude, I've been hitting all my smite. All actually, it's actually, it's it's true. Like Saint that's has gone out smited maybe like one time this whole. It's really yeah, funny. It's because I've been playing like shit that can't get out smited. You play like yeah. a laser, you're like two thousand damage. I mean, if, if we're talking about smites, there's this one time where. Scar and double. Oh shit, we're that, not talking, we're not about, talking this. about that. Either. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit, I, I played double it for this. What the hell? <laughs> it's not my fault. You're a lemming. Oh um, yeah, that was that was one of that was like the one like legitimate game we lost. Cause like we're like, oh well, they, they're not gonna do bearings. They have Gragas and Ezreal here. And like like, all right, you guys get ready. <laughs> they're like bearings are like get five k health. And we're like get ready. Oh, cool. You guys are gonna combo together. And double's like, oh shit, and just like ult or whatever. They all walk out they of the pit. And it's like now is my time. Now that they walk down the pit. Same time too. Oh, he's like, it's are like, you oh ready? shit, he ults. I got to ult. And then they like damage Baron for them when they're not even doing it. Yeah. Yeah. Was that like so half health? They, they literally did like two to three k damage on Baron when it was at four k. Like, yeah, that's literally what happened. They brought it the and then, slide range. And then yeah, they yeah. Slide it. Yeah. We, it was like ready. Double if was like, I'm going. Just like, I'm just in, and I'm like, shit, I gotta go. Too. My team doesn't use the word ready. <laughs> My team just says go, 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 and then like, I'm like, okay. So when you said ready, I was like, ready, Fuck. time to go. <laughs> oh my god, yeah, that was bad. Oh my god. So that, that's actually okay. a good point. You said that your team does different things. So I'm, I'm really interested in, uh, in finding out, you know, like what are some of the uh, what are some of the major differences between like playing on your own teams as opposed to this team? So like maybe we'll go down the line like Dyrus, what what's the difference that you would say between playing on with these guys and the rest of TSM? Uh, if I win my lane, we win the game. Oh yeah? Well, actually no, that hasn't happened twice. But usually I don't have to really do anything. Okay. And everyone else just wins the game. I just, I'm just there. Yeah. So That's it's kind same. of an easy thing for you. It's the same, right? Yeah, I think it's just the same. <laughs> it's just the same. I honestly don't do anything different. I just feel more powerful because, like, I don't know, everything we do, I just feel in such a better position. Like, we don't get put in a screwed position. We always set ourselves up for, like, like you know, good things to happen. Like, we aren't, we aren't putting ourselves in a position where we always have to face check and maybe only happen, like, once. 
So it's it's pretty good. Double lift, how about you? What's the difference between playing her and a CLG? Mm, the communication is way different and like... But different know. in a better way or different in just a different way? It's just different. Like, my team... I don't know, I, I think I just have to speak a lot more on the All-Star team. When, when like I play with my team, I don't really say that much because Chaser just won't shut the hell up, which is good. <laughs> but also it's like... And also my team just plays around me a lot, and so like... I have to start telling people like, oh. Actually, you should wait for me to hit this critical item or whatever. Like, normally my team just knows, and so it's just, it's really weird, but it's really good. I think, like, we're actually the best team in North America. Like, randomly, we just made a team like this, we'd be the best team. What, do you, uh, what do you mean, randomly? Like, everyone voted you guys in, right? No, no, I mean, like, let's just say, like, all our teams disbanded, and then yeah. like, we made this team. I've got that question later on. We'll get to that in a second. Uh, Saint, <laughs> Saint shakes his head. Uh, Saint, what about uh, playing with these guys over first? Uh... I feel it's like easier to shot call for because I think everybody's like game knowledge is just like not even like the game knowledge but like their their active game knowledge like everybody is like very vocal about what they think should be done and I don't know it seems like everybody has like a really good understanding of the game and they want to talk about it like we talk about the game a lot and I don't know it's good yeah Scar uh, it's different in a way that like. I think on this team, I can just play like a support-oriented role, which is why like I kind of understand how like Link plays in CLG now because I've gone games where like I I start the game like zero zero eight and zero zero eleven. I literally have more assists than the support. I just feel like uh, I feel it feels so weird because on, on my team, I like I act as like the secondary carry with Cutie Pie. Right. Kiwi Kid acts as like uh, like half a carry depending on what he plays, right? But then like in these games, I like I feel like I'm ha I play like the support-oriented. Carry. I, I just play control tower, and as long as I support the initiation and defend double lift well, like we win every game. Yeah, defend the double lift. So is that? Are you guys moving back towards that CLG? No, no. no. Double no. Is, I don't defend. Double is dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you can't defend my dead body. I can't. I can't, <laughs> I can't defend him when he gets hooked. Or yeah. Like, or if I'm not playing a tanky hero. Well, I, I can defend him when I'm Jace. He can tank and then I'll auto attack who's on him when I'm in yeah, Jace. Yeah, he'll still be dead. Oh, uh, he'll so eventually I'm die, but I'll be alive. Yeah. I, I actually bait double lift, so I don't really protect him. Yeah. I feel like this team has enough threats to where, like, even if double lift dies, like, it's not like CLG where the team fight's over. Like, we've had team fights where, like, yeah, he gets, like, cooked or, like, he's not even in the Ari fight. Charm, <laughs> I literally he just died. Die. Honestly, I'm like, Oh, he just died again. <laughs> and we win the team fight because like Saints ridiculously farm somehow, and then Dyrus is farmed and I'm farmed, and we just win like without him, which is weird. Like yeah. that normally never happens with my team if like the AD carry gets picked. Hey, special. These guys over TSM. What's what's the difference? Uh, we have a different dynamic, as in like our carry positions are a bit different. Uh, on TSM, you would have like mid lane was really our biggest carry, and then there's AD here. It's like AD and even jungler has a big role in carrying. And yeah, it's different. Like Scar is mid lane, he plays much more passive and much more game to late game, farming, etc. More like support role. And it's just a different dynamic and just means you have to work around it. Every team has their strengths and weaknesses and ours is just that we have threats spread out pretty evenly. Mm -hmm. uh, except for double if we just a bit higher but always gets caught, so it's like it gets to <laughs> bounce that out. Awesome. Yeah. So it's just yeah, different. <laughs> Poor Every <double>. question. <laughs> All right. So, uh, any any major disagreements that you guys have had yet? Like, I know I know a lot of you guys are known for having big arguments within your own teams, or is it just all sort of working out? Mm, I don't think we have time to argue. It's just like everybody. You just try to figure out things. Um, instead of like when you're when you're playing with a team for like a year or two years, you're you're okay with arguing because that's just how you get things across. But here, we don't have time to argue and. We just, I don't know, I guess we're just all on the same page, surprisingly. It's kind of weird, but it's been working out really well. We haven't really had any arguments. It gets fixed really fast if there is one. Um, I feel like there's some, like, we have a really, really similar, like, understanding of the game, like you said. But there are those, like, little disrespectancies, like, oh my god, Bully Bear's the best, or oh my god, Ken is the best, or, like, you know, just our different opinions. Right. And it's... It's pretty like mixed together. It's, it's a, uh, it's exceptional. Uh, so, Scar, you were gonna say? Uh, I don't know. I feel like I expected people to be a lot more stubborn. Like typically, like 
when people talk about like the top NA teams, like man, they have a lot of egos to throw around. But like everyone here is like is like really accepting of like mistakes or like even like criticism. So it's like if someone's like this is bad or like this could be better, people are like, well, and then like maybe they'll try to like say something for like a minute, and then afterwards, if two people go against something, like okay, yeah, you know, I understand that, and just like immediately gets resolved there. Yeah. And like some of the times, like even on my team, like that doesn't happen, or even on, like I know other teams that doesn't happen. Like re- resolution doesn't happen in like ten seconds. Yeah. Isn't that right? Double. <laughs> <laughs> but, but no, no I'm just but um, yeah, like I'm actually really, really surprised. It doesn't seem like there's any ego at all on this team. Like everyone's very accepting of like mistakes and criticism, and like. It's it's really good. Have any of you guys? Uh, do you feel like any of you have learned something else about another player by being being with them? Like anything major, like where you sort of suddenly it, uh, you understand something about what their role is on the team or how they work or something like that. Yeah, scars. Wait, yeah, scars champion pool is like zero. A piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah, I'm that's just kidding. Scar is actually surprisingly Scar. I used to think Scar played two champs. That's what CLG does. We literally just banned the three champs we thought Scar played. And then I realized like everyone actually can play a lot of stuff. I think it's just like their team doesn't let them. It's really weird. Oh yeah, that's that's definitely a big part. Not all of us have champions like like Double if wanted to play uh Kogma and his teammate let him or something. I wanna play Ash too. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to play you guys. I wanted to play Malphite, but Reggie didn't let me play Malphite after a certain point. But I can play Malphite now. Yay. Honestly, <laughs> I'm just surprised at how focused CLG is on Doublelift. Like, when I play Wild Turtle or even KX, they would always tell me summer cooldowns, spell cooldowns, stuff like that. Like, Double is like, hey guys, look at me. That's no, that's not what I say at all. Oh my god. Fuck I'm, you I'm guys. so big. Yeah. I'm so farmed. Like, yeah, you hear you stuff like, oh, I'm so farmed right now, instead of, I have Nai, I have this item. That, that's that's different. It's like, so do you just be like, for oh, look, look, look at double it. would be yeah, like so four. It would be like four zero, and I would be like four zero, and Saint would be four zero, and Scar would be four zero, and this special will have like fifty assists, and he'll be like, I'm big. <laughs> That's true, I'm big. That's like the only comment that comes out. It's not, it's not like, like yeah, I mean, yeah, like I have ice porn now. It's like, oh man, look at how massive I am. Everyone, I'm looking at my screen. I am Let's so pause big. Again. Pause the goddamn look, screen. Look at my CS. Everyone, come over here. Uh, I'm too I can see us up with my opponent. We got this. Everyone else is trash. Yeah. yeah God. Uh, it, also, it all makes sense now, doesn't it? It's not what happens. What all the right. hell? This is an inaccurate representation of how our scripts go. <laughs> Normally, it doesn't even matter if I'm six items because I'm dead. <laughs> You're big. Yeah, I'm big. big. I'm big. You're an expensive corpse. Yeah. <laughs> really all right. corpse. So, what's it like to know that the entire hopes and dreams of an entire continent <laughs> And region rests on your guys' shoulders. As long as it's on the Man of Steel's shoulders, we're good. <laughs> Fuck you guys! I hate you guys! I hate you guys! You can just, you can just build giants, build and tank, we'll bait you. <laughs> Probably shit at this point, honestly. <laughs> All right, all right, so this is a, I mean, we're kind of been building to this, right? But there's been a lot of talk. It sounds like you guys are getting along. There's no arguments. There's a... You guys, there's a bunch of threats here. It's all, it's all working out. Double lift is the only one that seems to be messing up. So, uh, <laughs> after All Stars, you guys all gonna leave your teams and join this one and take the North American scene by storm, and then the rest of the world afterwards. Oh, uh, that wouldn't be fun. At no, all. it wouldn't be fun. Because then everyone would just we would just win, dude. Yeah. I think this team is really good, but yeah. it's tough to leave an I team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That was actually like the mentality after CDE, where it's like. Damn, our team suck. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, see you guys next year. <laughs> all right. I mean, uh, t- tell me. All right. I- I'm curious. Are there any of you guys who think that your personal teams could beat this team right here? If you guys both had a month of practice, if we like made a duplicate. Yeah. If you cloned yourselves, like special diaries, like could could TS? If you guys had a month instead of like this week. Could TSM beat you guys? Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah, so Because we know they as well. I think it would be a TSM, game. Okay, so this team wouldn't understand perfectly how TSM works, but I right now I understand completely how this team works. 
Yeah. So I could, you know, like, there, there's stuff that, and I know the weaknesses of this team, and I feel like this weakness is much bigger than the weakness of TSM, but this one's much harder to find out. Okay. Well, we have, yeah, because we had less time to... I mean, yeah, I mean, we also have much less time, much, much less energy. Right. And, yeah, but this team's really good, but my old team, we have more practice, and I, I yeah. feel we could be the same. All right, all right, why don't I instead of giving you guys, like, a month, what if we gave you guys, like, six months? What the f- Any team could beat another team at six, just, six months. In six months, the skill gap always like goes down. It'd be pretty right. even. Okay, yeah. so so you don't think that these guys necessarily are like, you know, the, like this could be the best team in North America if you all left your team. I, I think well, it's just both tie because I'm a both team, so I mean, oh, we can't, I can't exactly beat each other. Yeah, right? exactly. Well, if I played against myself, we'd be just it'd be four on four. So okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the idea is that it's more about like the synergy that you guys might have. But yeah, I think it's more about the synergy, cause um, depends where the meta's at too. Like, yeah, different play styles. And well, somebody's like best chance get buffed or no. Well, if I was a clone, I'd probably be camping Reggie. So okay. I don't know. It, depending on the knowledge, yeah, it'd be pretty interesting to watch if it could ever happen. <laughs> Because like special would know things and I would know things. We would just sell each other out or something. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, let, let's let's move on to the All Star Tournament itself. So in the first round, you guys played China. So uh, what are you guys? What are you guys thinking? Your chances are of beating China right now. Honestly, like you go fifty fifty. Like go either way. Yeah. Like they're high mechanics, good skill, but I think like preparation is what's going to win the game. Okay. And you guys all agree on this? We have a surprising amount of preparation. I've never felt so cheated on League of Legends where I have someone doing all the replays and we have a board and a map and all that, like, and a coach. It's like, it's a huge difference. It's literally like 7 on 5 or 7 on 7 or something like that. On TSM, we try really hard. We always look at replays and stuff, and we always talk about it. But no, here, no. it's like, it's, we do, we do. Well, Most I do. Lot, well, I do. You do. Yeah. Well, but, what um, happens is we should look at this replay, like, five hours later, all doing something else. Well, we've gotten better at that. But here, it's like, there's much more structure. Like, Liquid, have, I feel like, like, when you talk to Reggie, he doesn't like having a coach. He doesn't like having authority over him. That's, that was a problem I kind of brought up way back, but... It wasn't a problem because we're winning, right? Right. But I really feel that if we had a coach, if we had an analyst, that could really elevate our play. Like, we could seriously contest Worlds if we had two more members on a team that could serve as extra members. It's, it's, I feel it's so big. Um, and I'll bring that to the team, and we'll see what happens. But I forgot where I was going. Uh, what were we talking about again? Uh, we, were ta- <laughs> we were talking about how... Uh... Oh, the chances of beating China. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah. So, yeah, I mean, I, I, feel, I feel that we have kind of evil footing because of all this uh, replays and all, like, how little that can be known about us and how little we know about them. Yeah. So there's so much mystery, mystery around it. I think it really depends on who gets bird flu and whoever gets bird flu will probably lose. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm also yeah. banking on the fact that IG and WA hate each other. Hopefully they'll kick each other in the foot or something. Okay. As I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> it's also just a lot easier because uh, like they have two teams and like we have three. Four. T- wait, four. Yeah, four. Never mind. Yeah, we have like four for the split of four teams, so it's really hard to get like getting information on us. All right. Uh, so so you know I actually brought up. So I think I think despite what you guys have said though. People would still consider. Are we all looking at the dog right now? That's so <laughs> cool. Fucking amazing. Yeah, I don't know if the camera can get that in the, the shot bubble. The dog is. Oh, like, he's he's Jill. stuck. No, nah, Jill. Jill, come here. Oh my gosh. Oh, Jill, come here. Jill. This dog is the reason why I like this house. I know exactly. This dog dude. is the reason why I like this house too. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys think you'd all perform better if you had dogs in the house? Yeah. This dog, this it, dog right? yeah. I think it, uh, pets honestly raise like the atmosphere in the house. Yeah. Like, if you had like a bad game, just like. Fuck this yeah. game. And they're like, oh, she's a dog. Right. Yeah. yeah <laughs> so, like, <laughs> so, it's so, like, some bitch ate my food. So, if you guys win All Stars, is it because does Gioba get the credit? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually like eight on seven. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> she's sniffing my shoe. Anyway, so I think, yeah, I know. It's, oh, all right, yeah. anyway. Enough about the dog. Uh, so, I think a lot of people would still consider it a huge upset if you guys beat China, despite what you guys have said. 
So let's say maybe you lose and you go up against Europe. So the other day on, on Who's uh, League... Well, are you saying Europe? Well, you're up against Is that what you're so, saying? Yeah. I'll have you know, Edward tweeted something about... I don't know, I forgot, but they're still going to lose. Well, so it's so, <laughs> it's so funny, right? Because I... I uh, all right, so yesterday, or I guess it was Tuesday, I brought up, like, the chances... Uh, or, like, all, we were discussing all this on Who's League. And uh, I said, you know, it seems like NA is boot camping and putting a lot more into it. And everybody's like, no, EU is. And the only thing people have come up with is Edward made one tweet one time about beating one team, like, in one game. Stop and so oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You're trying to use logic here yeah. with the League of Legends community. Yeah, exactly. So you just calm that down sucks. right now. Yeah, you got to be careful. Yeah. I honestly think <laughs> that Korea could have a much stronger team than they picked, though. Oh, yeah? I feel like they could have picked much better people. Mm -hmm. Okay. They kind of yeah. have, like, the old, old yeah. guys from last year who, who were really good last year. But then there's new players on the scene who have potential. Yeah, they mm -hmm. should have like Faker mid. Faker, yeah, really Flame top maybe. Yeah. Who do top? Yeah, probably oh, Flame top. Shy's been playing really well though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, Shy's they play, play against each other, so I assume they're both. But there. I think they're mid and in, in, uh, in, uh, mid and AD carry could be better. I, don't yeah. know. I like ambition. I think he's really good. He's but he's good, Faker but he's like, like consistent. But Faker's yeah. just like makes plays. I just dumpstered yeah. your whole but team. You only everybody make plays on your team though. That's the thing. That's true. Uh -huh. But like then it just becomes a higher plays. level if everyone's like, making plays. I mean, yeah, I guess. <laughs> that's I mean, true that's, for that's every All Star team. Yeah, that's how we want an All Star team. Like, someone's gonna make plays, but like, you don't need five players to make plays. Uh, that's gonna be that's our team. But then it just becomes a standard game if everyone's making plays. And, oh, yeah. be that level of plays higher now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, back to the whole All Stars thing and the boot camp. China has actually put a lot of practice into it. A week ago, um, Wee's analyst, guy's name's Aaron. He he was talking to me about the All Stars. Was just asking what we we're up to, and I was like, oh yeah, we're gonna practice. And he just sent me a picture from a Chinese forum, um, showing we and IG already boot camping a week ago. Okay. Damn. So Damn. Oh, I was like, wow, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> so sure. yeah, it's it's kind of China's putting a lot of effort in it, but let's see who comes out on top. Yeah. yeah. Some of the teams didn't have to do go to relegations. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I'm so yeah. glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This was a team that used to be comprised of the top four teams in North America, so yeah. that's pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wow. Yeah, that just happened. Uh, Get, so, don't mash me in here. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. I, you know, let's, let's say just based on what I think people's odds were, would be was that you guys would face EU in the uh, losers bracket. So uh, I brought this, again, brought this up on Who's League. I said, I think there's a chance that North America might actually have the stronger team than Europe. And like the entire Twitch chat just lit up with like, Travis is so dumb, all this, all this. <laughs> uh, even even uh, Panky and Noam Sam both burst into laughter on the show. So what do you guys think that that's a, a very unfair assessment or, or are you gonna back me up on this that you guys might actually have a stronger team? I don't care. Once yeah, once we no, once we play, like yeah. if we if we win, then you can shift top the world. And then you'll be laughing. Yes. Yeah. You can be like everyone else lose, trash. Just be like, yeah. You can say that. Yeah. Please please win just so that I can trash talk them on my show. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's, that's like the the last reason we we'll <laughs> yeah. the win. Yeah. All right. Just for you. I'm Travis. doing this for Thanks, America's <laughs> last hope for yeah. Travis. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. I appreciate that. You guys are are great. Uh, <laughs> uh, so you so you guys don't want to talk then about. Whether or not you guys are better than Europe, because you, you don't care. Well, we're just going to be China. So yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We're not, we're not expecting. Well, then what happens whenever Europe uh, ends up? You guys end up in the. Well, we're finals. not. We're not aiming to lose and play Europe. We're aiming to try and win, and then yeah. we'll just deal with it as it comes. Okay. The better question would be: Can Europe beat China in the losers bracket? Okay. There we go. Oh, there there you go. go. Oh yeah. god. <laughs> 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 the gauntlet just got thrown down. Uh, all right. So. Uh, yeah, what, what do you guys think? So we already talked a little bit about China, we talked about Korea. What about Southeast Asia? What's that? I think <laughs> so, their, their team uh, that they picked is like so random. They didn't even pick anybody from TPS. Well, they can well, only they have three people. They, they can only have three people from run, one region. So like Taiwan was limited to three, and then oh, like really? the next, oh, it, like, it, it was like an eighty percent vote, and then the next one was like Singapore, like one percent of the vote. But that guy got it because it just goes down to the next. Yeah. One. Not to say that SGS isn't like. Good, good, but like they could have a much, much stronger. It's the only Their video was so bad. Team we, we are the team, and then they all do this. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so, so you guys aren't, you don't think Southeast Asia is going to come out 
hitting on this. I, I think they yeah. got the short end of the stick. Yeah. When it came to the, the ch- like the picking of the all stars. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how the brackets work beyond the first round. Well, they have a bye. Yeah, yeah and then like who plays against them? Whoever. Whoever wins our match. Wins the lo- loser bracket game against. Oh wait. Yeah. I don't know. It's it's. I think it's whoever wins uh, Europe and Korea. And then the loser's bracket plays whoever wins you guys. Am I am I right on this thing? Yeah. No? What is it then? South Asia plays whoever wins uh, China and North America. That's what I... Oh, oh yeah, okay. There we go. Wait, well, why is that? So we have to play an extra game against the finals? No, 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 no. They just play one less game. They, they're like ahead and They back. have a yeah. bye. They just have a bye straight up because I guess you play they one, won one season two. Or... Yeah, but there's only two teams. Okay, so there's... Wait. Five teams. It's five teams and there's a special... Double limb bracket just for the first round. Yeah. So yeah, so we have to play an extra round to get to the finals. Yeah. Uh, wait, so yeah, wait, I'm confused. The winner of Korea and and Europe, who do they play in the next round? They play the losers bracket team. Oh, uh, so so there's oh, wait, no they do? Yes. Oh. So whoever yeah, comes out of the losers bracket. Yeah, plays it's just like we this T P A gets one less round. Or yeah. We yeah. just have to play yeah. more games, I guess. Yeah. No, no, no. Like, just um, more than TPA. Yeah, one less than TPA. TPA. Yeah, or yeah. uh, whatever. Well, yeah. yeah, Singapore. Singapore. Yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, well, I'm glad we got this all figured out for you guys so that you can Thanks, actually go man. over and know how to turn it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. What about uh, what about Europe? Because I know what you guys said you're not. But what do you think of their team? Uh. So three Russians. Who's on their team? Three it's, Russians, um, Yellow Alex Pete, and so was Edward. So as. I think Soaz is not that good. He's just whatever. Oh, and their AD. Rose Yellow, Yellow Pete is. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's my former teammate. He's alright. No, we're not talking about Yellow Pete. We're talking about. Or I said, whenever you said the Soaz thing, people are going to really hate you for that. You should give a reason why well, you don't think he's that good. He's trash. Yeah. I just give him the standard double up answer. Yeah. He's no, trash. I just. I mean, I just watch. You know, he, he's like really innovative, but. It's okay. <laughs> okay. It's okay. Yeah, that's I've never been like really impressed. All right. So and you said yellow Pete is okay. Yeah, he's just okay. I don't think he can match up to like prey and mad life. Yeah. Bottom lane, it's pretty hard. What about their team as a whole? Do you oh, do you think that the language know. issues are going to be language? It's language issues, and then all like European teams all play really different. So. Yeah, Diamond Prox like barely speaks English. So yeah. I don't know how he's that's going to go just, down. Just I think it's going to be a huge issue for yeah. Europe is they yeah. have language barriers, and like when your jungler doesn't even like. Was he just be like pinging furiously when he's coming, yeah. or I, I don't know? I gotta say two words. He's call him Kill the cards. Kill Soraka. Yeah, I, I think they they might have a shot because like Gambit's always been known for. Uh, they're a team where it's like, okay, well we have the mid lane and the jungler carry the game. Like that's literally how Gambit works. Yeah. You know, they have the mid lane and jungler, so maybe they just use that like two man synergy and like work. Yeah, but they're gonna be against the other team around who. It. Arguably, is a better jungler. They they yeah, also yeah, that's true, that's true. Yeah. Well, for Gambit, it's like they have like minimal amount of practice, so they probably have more time to practice here. So I don't know. Well, you know how their flights are like twenty four hours or something. Yeah, they well, fly like. Well, no, Ryan's giving us like they didn't so have much advanced. They play. didn't have relegation, and they I don't think they're boot camping, so they don't have to fly anywhere. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, we're flying out a week in advance anyways. We're going to practice there in China, so... Right. Like, Riot's giving us, like, four days to practice in China. Nice. Yeah, that would be interesting. Oh, really? We have four more days? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, that would be great. Yeah, we'll be looking to practice. I thought we were just China going in once yeah. we really fly there. For this also yeah, <laughs> I can tell you guys really know how this all works. Uh, yeah. <laughs> North America. <laughs> Our <Tomorrow>. holo. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get a schedule until yesterday, so yeah, okay. that's, that's kind of Yeah, they, like, the official schedule. Like, we had, like, a rough idea what's yeah. going on, but... Yeah. All right, you guys. Uh, you guys have any cheese plans? You don't have to tell me what it is, but before every tournament, somebody says, "Well, we we've got some stuff." So are you guys gonna are you gonna give me some? Yeah, we got some CLG stand. cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It's just rubbed <laughs> off on us. Yeah. Like, I've been no, trying no. to incorporate the CLG cheese. The double of cheese. My team is, is too so pussy. Bad. My team's too pussy to handle that kind of cheese. Because maybe the all cheese is. is you're like, all right, level one. We're all gonna flash. Over their wall in their base, and then kill them coming out of the fountain. It's fucking <laughs> genius. Yeah, it's like I think we just brought a little bit from all of us. Yeah, yeah. especially scumbag. Yeah, as our secret strat. What? It's okay. <laughs> we okay. So we had a cheese that we were gonna we were using, 
and we lost with it. So okay. I was gonna bring it here, but then I mean, okay, never mind. It's just we all have cheeses on our team that we sometimes haven't used, yeah. and sometimes we have, and it's just this is like a chance where you can. You're like, well, screw it, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah. we kind of like mixing different stuff, and like we're just seeing what we can do. It's like a fondue now. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah, it's a mixture of cheese. So like, yeah. I had like some mozzarella, freaking yeah. you guys like cheddar, and then yeah. like you just add some more cheese in it, and then yeah. You now you guys are taking this cheese thing way too far. <laughs> <laughs> You're like trying to make a whole pizza. Over here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put it's some good. pasta. It's good. Yeah. It's like pizza. spaghetti. I'm actually pretty hungry. So. Yeah, yeah I'm fucking hungry. hungry. Let's uh let's move on. So there's gonna be these one v one and two v two show matches. Oh, God. Uh, do you guys know any details on those, or can you speak to any of them? If you do? I don't even know. I can't wait to see the jungle competition. When is it like a row of creeps coming down the lane? You gotta smite him or something. Yeah, actually, I think it's gonna <laughs> be yeah. just gonna yeah. smite Baron. So. Well, you're gonna lose everyone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's dumb because like it has to, like so there's so many variables now. Like people DPS in yeah. or like. Some Gragas comes up and steals that shot. I think I think the one v one for jungler competition is probably just gonna be like literally just like a one v one competition. Yeah, like, yeah. Like I think it will. I think I, I, I played in the two v two and I pooed all over Expression and Walter. Fucking <laughs> Turtle went the stupidest champion, the stupid. He went fucking crit on Garen. I know. Wait, no, you went crit on Garen. He went. He, played, no, he was Garen. Well, yeah, like Ryan has like a special. Oh, what the fuck? You were match. He was Garen. He fucking went crit on Garen. Yeah. Who does that? And <laughs> <laughs> Ryan does on the I was like, this Q can't crit anymore. Either. I was like, dude, what are you doing? He's like, I got this. I'm gonna get shit on. And I'm like, what the fuck? All I know is there's a Riot in house 2v2 competition and I almost won. The map is, no. Okay, well, yeah. The map's not very balanced, though. Like, you can cheese so hard on it. Yeah. Like, I th well, I think the map is totally fine. What kind what? of cheese can it's you like possibly? Any support, any, yeah, but it's so close together. Yeah, it's so close yeah, to bound, sure. what the heck? Like, if you have a support, you can just shove them in all day. It's so dumb. I mean, yeah, like there's gonna so be like cool. cheeses and stuff, but it comes down to who can adapt the fastest. Yeah. 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 So, what what is the, before we move on to sort of like the meta talk, what is the overall hope for North America to win All Stars, guys? I Not feel bad. like we're a black horse. I don't know. That's just a, a dark horse? Black yeah. Black horse. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. <laughs> All right. So, you guys are, so North America, the dark horse of the tournament? Yeah, people, yeah. Always, people always write off North America. Yeah. We we won the last technical uh, international All Star tournament. I mean, yeah. Come on, WCG baby. Yeah. CD. So we're the All Star champions. Yeah. yeah. So the rating, 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 yes. the rating All Star champions returning so, to take the, the the trophy once again. Yeah. I like that. So if we lose, I'll be an upset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the favorite team right here. Uh, so the the let's move on to Meta Talk. Uh, so normally in state league we do like half talk about tournament half and the pro, the pro scene and then we'd move on to meta talk but this time we'll sort of integrate the, the discussion about the game uh, as it is right now with the all-star stuff so let's talk about the uh, the variations that you guys see and the, the play style across the different regions and and how much are you guys looking at that so like what would you say is the differences between all the different five regions that are going to be there i think they're pretty similar right now aside from china yeah uh, I think all the, like the meta is like pretty close right now. Like people all research each other's regions. Like wow, that looks pretty good too. Maybe we should do that, and then they pick it up, and you can see it. Like maybe one week in like North American LCS, they're playing like Jace or some dumb crap like that. Maybe like the next week we'll see that in Korea or vice versa. Like Kennen has been playing the Korean LCS, and then you'll see that next week in the NA LCS. Yeah. And like I think that's just. You how said it goes. China was a little different. Well, China is just like we don't want to fight. Yeah. And they just want to farm. And like the other team won't even like go after the other team. Like, oh, you can just go take those towers and we'll go take these towers over here. And yeah. They get a gentleman's truce, which is weird. Yeah, it's really yeah. just, I don't know. China doesn't really like to fight until like 30 minutes. And I feel like that style is really, it'll clash with other region styles like ours where we do want to like fight you. Yeah. yeah. So is it true that this is going to be on like the patch before Lissandra, or do you guys know what patch it's, it's going to be on? It's the current patch, but Sidwani, Trundle, and Lissandra are disabled. It's okay. Lissandra patch, not the current current patch, because there's a patch like yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. So Lissandra oh, patch came out. out. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. Holy shit! Did it? Yep. I yeah. thought they had it postponed. Uh, yeah, they postponed it. I was told that there was a patch today. Okay. Yeah, Either yeah, way, okay. so it's a friendly word patch, but without Lissandra, Sidwani, or Trundle. Yep. yep. So you guys can't pull out the Sejuani though. No, nope. I don't like that champion. Anyways. I know. It was a joke. Uh, yeah. So what what do you think of that patch in particular? Do you think that there's anything 
that's somewhat abusive in it or nothing that we want to talk about right now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All secrets. So I understand. I understand. It even still like the patch. It just happened today. Like didn't even fix any of it either. So. Uh, yep. Yeah. Still. I think different regions value different champions. That's yeah. true. And yeah, we have a lot of like North American values on champs. Yeah. All right, so we're going to, I know this whole thing has been about All-Stars, I'm just going to ask you guys a couple questions here at the end that aren't. Um, general thoughts on the LCS, because you guys all represent four different teams, so it might be kind of cool to have a mini conversation on that. I think uh, relegation is, sucks. Like, I think teams have to go to relegation. Like, I, I feel pretty bad for them. Yeah. I feel like the structure yeah. for it's done. It's, I, I hate how there's, obviously, I'm biased because I went to relegation, <laughs> but... I'll just use a better example because we had a really bad record during LCS, but like Dignitas yeah, had a really good record, right? They played really well throughout the entire LCS and had a couple bad weeks, whatever, but they're still like, at the end of the season, like 18 wins, like 10 losses, something like that. And they're, they're no different when it comes to like playoffs and relegations than like GG who went like 5 and 20. Because all that matters is top two is safe and then places three through eight, those six teams, it means nothing. You're basically just like, you have a chance to go to relegation, you don't have any job security. And if you have one bad week at playoffs, if you lose one best of three, if you like, if you go one two in that best of three, now you're in relegations. Like, so what was the point in the last three months of playing well in LCS? Like, I don't know. I think that's really weird. Yeah. So I mean, and at, like my previous comment was not true at all. But actually, I feel that one and two, they're the only spots. One and two, and not being seven and eight, those are only like places that matter. Three to six are exactly the same. It doesn't matter. Who is like three and six are literally exactly the same. It doesn't matter if you're three or you're six. And I feel that there should be the distinction. Like maybe I would put like a best out of five and three would have a one game up or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Like there should be some advantage. I don't know what they would do, but three shouldn't be the same as six. Like that's, there are literally like 10 game differences. Like where the third place team won 10 games more than the sixth place. And that's like kind of lame. But it gives that, it allows teams like GGU to come in second because of that. Yeah. So. Well, what about outside of the format? I mean, you guys have been participating in it now for, for three months. And uh, two of you guys managed to sneak back in uh, at the end, barely. Uh, so what, <laughs> what, uh, <laughs> what, uh, I mean, like even outside of the format, what do you think about the LCS? Like, is it cool? Do you miss Do you miss the old days when you could play in those NESL tournaments? I oh, you can go. I miss traveling to new places like IEM and like MLG and stuff, and like going to these new places with live audiences, and like it's just cool, you know, like oh wow, this time we're going to Korea, like this time we're going to Germany, blah blah. blah. Uh, but I like that Riot did LCS, like it's like the best thing I could possibly have in free sports, and like for my career, that's just like one thing I miss, like the stability, the income. And like how they handle LCS and how they treat us players, like they treat us really well, so it's good. Any, anyone else want to chime in on that? I agree with that. I do miss a live audience though. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. it's nice to have like just people out there that just get like, they get high peaks. Yeah. It's good. Looking forward to that for All Star? Ah, uh, yeah, like what a 10,000 person arena, so. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. yeah. All right, uh, we hinted on it a little bit, but uh, the patch that's hitting, either if it did today or even if it hits like tomorrow, whatever, any thoughts on that patch? Anything in there that you like a lot or, or that? Buff Nunu, baby. Yeah. He's back. The nerf Caitlyn. Uh, yes. Tired of dealing with Caitlyn. I was a Caitlyn yeah. main until everyone started playing her and then I just got sick of seeing her. Hipster. I know. Yeah. I was. Um, Sidco was the original Caitlyn. That's true. Sidco was the original. Yeah. They taught me everything. <laughs> I know. Uh, anything else about that patch and, and the Mikhail's thing? You guys were mentioning it. Earlier. Custom custom items. That's probably the biggest thing, uh, for, yeah. especially for competitive Very good. play. That helps. It's out. it's and like probably good. one of the biggest things for competitive play. Because you have to get out of the the spawn like instantly. Like yeah. if you want to get somewhere, and I'm sitting there, I'm like, well, why the heck is a machete on Jarvin's like recommended <laughs> jungle? It's like the hell is this shit? Yeah. <laughs> it, it provides consistency. A lot of times when like playing different sports, like I don't have support items listed. I don't have wards listed. It's just like. Switch tabs, find the pink words, right. minimize my item shop. It's so damn big now. I, I hate the giant item shop. I prefer like the three. Yeah, like, I, like like the I, don't, I don't even read patch notes. Yeah, you just play the game. Yeah, yeah, just play the game. When I see something surprising, he's like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> Potions are in the wrong spot again. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 Blue and red have swatched like 
four times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I want to keep. That's just I the bought, mess of people. I bought five mana potions on Kenan. I was so sad. <laughs> yeah, that's brutal. So uh, we'll just go into these these uh, two questions. I, I asked for some questions on Twitter. SOTL has always had questions from fans, and so there's two. One of which you guys have already talked about. We'll bring it up again just so you can get a final statement in. Everybody can. Uh, Note Chu says. How hard is it to carry double lift? I keep hearing comments about him being unable to dodge binding and derping in some games. Fucking hell! Every question. <laughs> so any any final comments about that? Any any hopes that you guys have for him to get better? I, I think at least choose uh, wisely. <laughs> choose words I wisely. think at least double lift is always ahead to the point where he actually matters before he gets hit with the binding. Yeah, that's okay. Like at least like. He gets to the point where he becomes a threat and then doesn't isn't a threat once he's dead. So at least that's a positive thing I could say. I personally like to see uh, players play over aggressive and then slowly tone it down, rather than being too passive and trying to tone that up. So it's good that he's playing aggressive. Just need to tone it down a little bit, and we still have a few days. So hopefully, it gets to the point where maybe he gets hit by bindings and dies a few times, but hopefully that's only like once every few games. Yeah. And he's been getting some one-on-one -on -one training with Fabi and Solo Q. Oh, <laughs> this is the most I've ever improved. Yeah. He's a god now. Alright, uh, second question from Toe to Left. If you could change one thing about each other's playstyles, what would it be? I don't think Saint ever wrote, like, Bex. Like, he just, he's only goes, get, go. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> like I'm going. There's no, there's no second option. Yeah. We're going, guys. All right, it's like go, get or ready. go. Choose one. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh, anything else? Anybody else? Bigger champion pull out of Scar. Yeah. Scar I think I, I could just be more aggressive. That's it. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Actually, I'm fine with Scar. Like, I like his play style with how the team fits in. But yeah, like, I actually think so. Because it's style. like, I can count on him to like, we're well, just going to go down there and you farm, and I'm just going to go help get double if fed. Or, yeah. like, it feels very secure when Scar is like, just there, and it's not Reggie being over-aggressive trying to carry the game. He's just, he just gets his farm, and then he's useful in the team fights, and he just does his job. Yeah, Scar's like a big pillar, yeah. and then we all hang on to him for feeding, basically. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's basically the giant pillow that catches all of us. Yeah. Giant pillow. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else you guys have changed about anybody else's playstyle? Uh, I, I think Double Lift could use some better like uh, headphones or something because he can't hear a lot. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> I, I suggest oh, yeah. like some Astros. Some Astros? Oh, some Astros. <laughs> it's because my <laughs> Razer TM product, uh, I left the adapter at home. Otherwise, I'd be using the top of the line quality headset. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody else want to say anything about sponsors? I, I, I think okay. This is this is one of the major fixes for communication. What I did was I turned my game volume down. So I think Double F just needs to turn his game volume down. It's like blasting so loud. I, I, I can't hear anything. Yeah, I think you should just turn yeah. the game. You'll notice a huge improvement in hearing your teammates. Yeah. How are you I supposed know. to hear Sims laugh then? <laughs> no one picks their champ anymore. I only look, look at. Well, you can still hear it. Composer, baby. You can make the voice full and then have master volume low. Yeah, that's, that's a secret. Right? That is a secret. Uh, I want to see if there's anything that you guys would like to say to fans who are going to be tuning into the NA All Star Games uh, next week, next weekend. Mm -hmm. Um. I'll do my best. We'll do our best. That's all I can say. I, I really, I really think that people are gonna, are gonna be pleasantly surprised by how well we're doing and how well we will do. And hopefully, I don't. This doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah that's the main thing. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll go with the special on this. Like, there's such a circle jerk that like NA is the worst region. Like, NA sucks. Like, and it's got to the point where people are like, like almost in agreement with it, which is like the worst thing to see because it makes like. I feel like it undermines like the professional players in the NA scene a lot. So yeah. it's like, it's like wow, yeah, I'll back you special on this. They'll be surprised about how well we play. I want to we can watch Korea and China. Oh. I mean, whether we win or lose, our games are going to be really interesting and fun to watch, I'm sure. We, are, we both, we're just going to keep fighting them like over and over <laughs> again. So it's going to be really interesting, for sure. Hit the go button. Hit the go button. <laughs> <laughs> Zane will make sure of that, I guess. Uh, 
All right, so we'll do some uh, shout outs, plugs, whatever you guys want to say here at the end. Uh, Darius, you want to go? I'd like to give a shout out to uh, Qualcomm, Snapdragon Processor, <laughs> Gunnar, Cut the video. Astro, Asus, Ventrilo, Kingston HyperX, Origin PC, Corsair. I think I got them all. You got, you got eight sponsors, right? And all the fans, Solomon.net, ProBuilds, CanvasSec.net, and yeah, always the fans. Travis, you guys have been awesome. GameSpot, and to, and to Riot, Riot, and to Riot, 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 the team, team. Dyrus, yeah. uh, my mom, <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Jake <laughs> Giova. Uh, yeah, what the hell? CLG's not that baller. Uh, XMG, <laughs> Razer, and Azubi TV. Uh, our apparel sponsor, GG Well Played, and obviously, like, Riot, thanks for fighting this. Like, and, whoa, and new computer what about sponsor, I buy power? Right? Yeah. Oh, shit! Yeah, I buy power. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, I was saving that one for last because it's most important. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we are, we're a new partnership with I buy power. You should check those guys out. And um, also, thanks for Riot for providing this because, like, people wouldn't be able to watch the NA All Star team if they didn't think this idea would make this happen. Mm. Yep. Same. Uh, Sam Storm and Alienware for giving us all the computers to practice on, and TeamSpeak, uh, always hooked us up. And of course, uh, check out our sites, LawPro, and any of the Curse websites. And our fans, but not, not Travis. Okay. Don't, don't thank that guy. Alright, I know. But I'm just out here wasting your guys' time. Uh, Scar? I like to say our fans, I think it's said like five different times. Well, you can say it. I mean, like, that's the most important. Yeah, stuff. you're right, you're right. It's the most important. I'll reiterate it for the fifth time. Like, thanks a lot to our fans. Like none of us would be here without fan, like fan support, obviously. Yeah, um, yeah. Aside from that, like obviously, thank you, Alienware, until uh, the rest of my sponsors. Don't laugh at me; I don't remember them all right oh now on the top of my head. God. And um, I don't know, where's the organization? Yeah, where's Odie? Odie's got Odie's Odie's gonna be so mad at me after this. <laughs> That's good. He won't watch it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so thank thank you guys all for being on. Um, I want to say thank you to. The community for uh, you know I mean I I was hoping to do something like this anyway but it was really the giant Reddit thread that got up to the top of the subreddit that, that made me pursue it so uh, so aggressively thank you to Liquid and uh, Team Curse for hosting us so graciously to be able to do this and uh, for helping to fit us into their schedule and uh, of course all the other teams uh, CLG TSM Dignitas that uh, were willing to give approval for all these guys to be on players for being on it and uh, thanks so much to uh, GameSpot for producing this flying me out here all this stuff I mean I, I know I get a lot of love from the community but uh, those guys are really the folks that empower me so thanks for watching so much uh, really appreciate hope to do more stay leagues in the future we'll have some other cool content on GameSpot as well and I'll be in Shanghai that weekend of All Stars covering it doing interviews with all these guys whenever they go out in the first round and uh, you know, don't even make it into the losers bracket somehow and prove all the NA haters right I know I'll be there whenever they win the whole thing. So uh, be sure to check that out. You can uh, check it over at GameSpot.com slash esports. Thanks for watching, guys. Damn, Travis, shut up.